You can use the Editor Rulers setting to define vertical guides at specific column positions in your file. Here, for example, I have a ruler going at column 80 here, and you can use this sort of as a guide to see when your text is maybe getting a little bit too long, and you might want to consider wrapping things. Now, with the Editor Rulers setting, you can also define the color rulers. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to open up my settings with Control, comma, or Command, comma on Mac, and I'm going to go to the JSON version of these settings files, but just by clicking on this little icon up here, because we actually need the advanced settings for this. And let's just put the JSON settings here next to my current file so we can see the effect of the ruler settings here. So if I scroll through the file here, you can see that I have editor ruler. I currently have a ruler defined at line 80. Let's just change that to 40 or so here so we can actually see this in the file. So there's my current ruler. And now I'm going to go in and define another ruler at line 20 or so. So now we can see this other ruler showing up. But instead of just defining a simple number here, I'm actually going to create an object. And then this object is going to take a column. So we'll say 20 again and then a color. So I'm going to put a color in here, and this is just a hex color, so I'll do something like F00, which would be red. When I save this, you can see that the ruler color here has changed to bright red. I could go and add a transparency component just by typing a 7 on the end if I wanted, for example, so now it's fading in a little bit more. But I can just go in and create multiple rulers like this. So let's go create a ruler at column 30, for example, and instead of red, let's make this one. I'll do uh, green for this one. So you can see that the ruler color now has been updated here. So you have the two different colored rulers and then the default colored ruler here on this line at line uh, 40 here. Now you might want to use the colored rulers because they make it easier to visually identify which ruler is which. So here, for example, it becomes very clear that this is the ruler for line 20, this is the one for line 30, and this one's the one for line 40. So that's a quick look at the editor ruler setting and how you can use it to create colored rulers in your files.